Hi, we've just got a quick repair video today. This is the power supply board out of a Samsung 46 inch TV and the TV's behaving slightly oddly so the picture's kind of gone a little bit dark even though the backlight is fully illuminated and you can't seem to change the brightness and contrast so that it improves the picture. Um, so I had a quick look inside the TV. I didn't bother doing a proper um, teardown of the TV. There's not a lot to it. Uh, but on the main board, everything looks okay. I've just gone around with the ESR meter on the capacitors that I can reach in the main uh, controller board, and everything looks okay there. And then I had a quick look at the power supply board and immediately saw that one of the capacitors here, uh, so this one's already started to leak. So that's immediately saying that there's something wrong um, in this power supply. It's probably not regulating all that well and potentially preventing the uh, picture from being displayed properly. So we'll have a, a closer look at this board, uh, just test some of these capacitors, but this one's definitely faulty and may well explain why uh, the TV isn't working quite correctly. So you can see on the board itself, um, they've called the sections hot and cold, and the main section is all of this here. Um, on the bottom uh, right here, this is the connector that goes off to the uh, digital controller board, and then we've got a couple of headers here. Uh, these are for the backlight board, although on this TV there's only one um, side of the uh, TV that has the backlight controller and it's only using one of these control uh, one of these connectors So the backlight is connected to this connector here, and then we've also got what looks like some kind of controller um, Header here. I think it says on off and then ground um, So this is to turn the power supply on and off. So let's have a closer look at the PCB uh, We'll take a few readings of these capacitors. They're all the same brand. I think um, but this one's definitely um, gone all crusty um, so we'll measure that and see if it's the only one that's at fault. So we'll just measure the ESR of the uh, capacitor that's obviously faulty. Um, we're using the ESR70 again from Peak Electronics which I've reviewed in a previous video. Um, so we'll just measure the ESR on that capacitor and we've got 1.95 ohms, which is really quite excessive for a capacitor of that size. Uh, we may as well measure these capacitors down here as well, although they look to be okay. And that one's 0 0.04, that's fine. That one's also 0 0.04 ohms. We've got another one here. That one's also 0 0.04 ohms. And I think there was one more, uh, yeah, there's one just here. And that one's 0 0.03 ohms. So all of these, there's one there as well, these four are fine. This one's obviously faulty. They all do, do seem to be the same brand, so every capacitor on the board is made by Cap Exxon, Capson, I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, so it might be worth just checking the others on the board as well. Um, this one could possibly, it seems to be separated from the rest, so I don't know if this is the standby supply um, for the board, I'm not sure. Um, I'll see if I can find a service manual for this, but I'll just quickly uh, test the rest of these. Um, we'll replace this capacitor here and see if the TV behaves any differently. And we've got the main bulk uh, reservoir capacitor just here. That one's fine. So it looks like the rest of the capacitors on the PCB are fine. So let's just replace this one here and see how uh, whether that improves anything. And when you're trying to remove a component like this, if you're working with a single sided board like on these power supply boards, you don't really need to use anything like a desoldering gun. You can just use a bit of um, soldering wick uh, to remove it, they come out fairly easily. That's the capacitor out. So it's pretty crusty on there. I'll see if I've got any uh, replacements. I might not have 
um, an 820 I might have to stick a 1000 microfarad capacitor in there. So it doesn't look like I've got any 820 mic capacitors. I've got this uh, Panasonic FM uh, 1000 mic 25 volt capacitor so we'll we'll place that in there instead. Just solder that in there. And I think we'll try that out. So we'll just try turning it on at the mains and the standby light seems to come on so that's a good sign. And that looks better than it did before so that's definitely slightly better. Um, I haven't got the remote control with me so I'll have to try and use the menu buttons on the front of the TV. So that looks to be set up about right. Uh, that definitely looks significantly better than it was before. I wasn't able to get anything like the kind of contrast between lighter colours and darker colours there. So that was a nice simple repair, nice and quick, just a single capacitor. Um, in this case it was a capacitor that was visibly uh, faulty. Um, the ESR meter was handy just for checking the other components on the board. Uh, considering they're all the same brand and probably from the same batch, it's worth just checking the others on the board just to make sure they're not uh, about to go on their way out as well. So that's it, nice and happy with that, uh, really quick repair. Um, so if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and thanks for watching.